Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 minute fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We'll fuel your mind, your body, and your future. When we're waiting to everybody get on, go with the announcements as usual. If you're listening to this on podcast or SoundCloud or you know iTunes or even Stitcher, make sure you comment, review, and email me. Let me know anything and topics you want to uh, listen to. I know that being on audio, it saves you time, so hopefully you're using it wisely, either at work, your workout, you're doing cardio, wherever it's at. So thank you so much for tuning into that. Also, thank you for joining all the social media. Make sure you're on the, especially Facebook and YouTube. That's it's all Dr. Zeno and Twitter and Instagram and all these cool things. We have great things for you as well. I want you to be fully engaged so we can really give the best value and benefit to you guys. Um, we Are Heroes, so hopefully you saw the episode yesterday. Make sure you go to YouTube and Facebook to see the We Are Heroes latest episode. And also at YouTube, you'll see all the 15-minute fuels there for you as well. And go to imhero.com. That's where we have our free uh, video series for you called One Month to Win. And it's really not one month to win, but it gets you in the habit of winning by doing certain successful characteristics and principles of winners around the world and through history. And really, these principles and characteristic traits basically will allow you to win in life 100%. And that's what we'll go into today. So yesterday we talked about being committed. That's the first thing we have to do, right? In order to win in anything, we have to be committed. We also went over how, what is the one thing? Let's just focus on the one thing because there's so many programs out there. There's so many books and stuff out there and seminars you go to and they literally just dump so much on you. It becomes overwhelming and you don't get anything done. You just, you just analyze and procrastinate. I've been there. So we just want you to do one thing. So we had people saying, you know, they're going to start, you know, they're going to lower their carbs for the month. Great. Or someone's going to start focusing on social media for the marketing of business. Great. Someone's going to promote uh, Fuel, uh, the We Are Heroes show to people for, you know, at least a couple people a day every single month. So just wonderful things like that. We greatly appreciate. But pick the one thing that you could focus on. So here's the thing. If you win at something that you weren't doing before and you actually win there and you're doing well, it motivates you because when you win, it becomes a habit. It motivates you. And then what happens, if you could do it on one time, you could do it for three. And then when you could do it for three, you could do it on 10 different things. And then you get this, this positive feedback of winning. So today, you know, yesterday was commitment. Today, we're going to talk about now once you're committed, the second characteristic trait of winning for the month is going to be taking 100% responsibility. It's the most beautiful thing that you'd ever do for yourself in your life. It also could be the most painful, but it is the most beautiful thing ever. Taking 100% responsibility no matter what happens. So whether it be, again, in the four areas, whether it be in your finances, whether it be in your health, whether it be in your relationships or your business, once you take the attitude that, listen, no matter what happens, I have to take 100% responsibility no matter what. Yeah, but my employee did this. Oh yeah, well I gave my money to this guy and he lost it. I get it, but you have to take the 100% responsibility of it. Never let somebody else determine the success of your future. I'll say that again, never let somebody else or put the success of your future in the hands of somebody else. Now you could hire people, you could have people partner with you, you could, you could get coaches in your life, but ultimately at the end of the day, when you could be free and liberated by, give, by taking 100% responsibility, that's how you grow and that's how you win. And it is free and it is liberating because it makes yourself accountable to it. You know, a couple things that happen, you know, it, it's easy and, and it's, it's very easy to do. You know, you know I, I hired a tech team for a website. They did a horrible job, right? And see, I could sit here and complain. They did a horrible job. And then I had somebody else that I thought they were going to talk to. And then I realized that that person really wasn't checking the website either. And I could complain about it all I want. But ultimately, it's my responsibility. I paid for the website. I hooked the two people up that were supposed to monitor the website. But you know what? I didn't stay on the website because I was sitting there going, well, you know, they'll take care of it. But if I would have taken 100% responsibility, would have been on them and watching, I would have figured out this problem a long time ago. So you could get upset of the circumstances, but at the end of the day, like, yeah, it was my fault. But it's freeing. It allows me to move on. It allows me to learn. That's how you learn. I do something called the Zeno experience. It was kind of an underground thing. It's where the ultimate mastermind of becoming the hero you wanted to create to be. And with chiropractors, I just happen to be a badass chiropractor, so you put those two together, and we're just a great fit for doctors. And it was kind of underground. Uh, you know, it was just basically referral. Now, we're actually open that up again pretty soon. You'll see that coming out soon. But I realize now I have an application process. And, and if you are considering applying, 
make sure you get this question right. One of my questions was, what are the, what are the resources or what are the uh, opportunities that you feel you have not fully expressed or leveraged and why? And I say that question for a very important reason because once I st if someone starts to say, well, my staff dropped the ball or my teammate did this or my partner this and that or my wife or my spouse and they start or, or my, the insurance in my town or my town doesn't do this or people are not receptive to chiropractic. My See, what happens when I, when I hear people start to blame the circumstances, I can't accept them. You know why? There's no amount of money they could give me or I could give them. I'll never reach their expectations because they didn't take full responsibility. What I am looking for with qualify someone is they say, you know what, Dr. Z, I just, uh, I just don't know how to scale my practice. I just don't know how to hire the right person. You know, I want to learn how to communicate better. See, when they use the I, then I know that they're, they're taking responsibility and they want to become better, right, themselves. And they're not blaming anybody else. And that's the person that's going to grow, that's going to win, that's coachable, that's teachable, and you can move forward. So that's very, so when you're around people in your life and they're blaming the circumstances and blame, the circumstances are always going to be the circumstances, but when you hear they're blaming everything, you're never going to make that person happy at all because their expectations is they want the world to do it for them or they want to be able to blame other things. But when you hear someone says you're in a relationship, they're like, yeah, I want to make this better. I want to do better. And it's a, it's a personal thing and they take responsibility. That's a great relationship to have, and that's the 100% responsibility mindset. Uh, if, you do, if you are liking this, make sure you hit the heart, uh, do the thumbs up, and share, because this is a message. How many people need to hear it? And it's not a fun message, because when you realize, and, 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 and we all do this, so as soon as I see myself complaining about everything, I consciously say, okay, I'm complaining, then I automatically have to ask myself, okay, what am I responsible for here? 100%. And then I realize, wow, I didn't train my team the way they should be. Or, you know, so, so I, I, I take the large picture of the conundrum or the issue that happened and I find myself complaining or blaming and then I bring it all the way down to, and I make it my responsibility. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's all me. It's, it's my office. It's my team. It comes back to me, you know. Sometimes I'm the janitor, you know, and that's fine. I'm, that's what happens when you're the boss. That's fine. But once I take responsibility, then I'm humbled by it, right? So there's the pride. There's the ego. Now here's the humility of it. You're humbled by it. And in the humility comes the courage to say, what do, we, what do I have to do to make it better? What do I have to do to make sure this doesn't happen again? And my entire practice was built off of, okay, we take full responsibility, all right, so how are we going to make sure this doesn't happen again? How, how am I going to do this? What do I need to do? And that is the greatest, it's the growing point of your life. So when you take 100% responsibility, this is how you win in life. So when it comes to eating, uh, well, they, you know, whatever, you make your own meals, you, you prepare them. When it comes to exercise, you go to the gym, right? it's, it's you, you do that. When it comes to relationships, you take charge. When it comes to work, you show up a little bit early, you stay a little bit later, so you take responsibility of that. When you do hire people or coaches in your life, you pay the money, you stay on them. You know, you make sure that you're on it. So make sure you're responsible of your schedule. Once you start blaming, it's a problem. Nathaniel Brandon, a great uh, you know, psychologist and amazing personal development person, um, he used to have a saying when people would complain a lot or when he was working with people, he was a master at it, he used to say, can I tell you something? And they said, what? In the middle of their stories, right? You know, they're telling, their, we all have our stories. He goes, no one's coming to save you. Just think of it. He goes, no one is coming to save you. And they're like, well, you're here, Nathaniel. He's like, yeah, I'm here to tell you that no one's coming to save you. And when you have that idea, and it really works well with the whole hero thing, a hero knows that no one's coming to save anybody. So therefore, they have to do what? They take the personal responsibility. Because in life, you're absolutely right. Like a hurricane hits your town. You're not responsible for that, but you are responsible of, how, of what? Of how you react to that, right? So that's what you gotta do. So in, a hero takes 100% responsibility, but if you want it in life, I always tell myself, no matter what the circumstances, no one's coming to save me. And it automatically puts me in the humility where, okay, humility, pride, and ego saying, okay, no one's coming to save me, so I'm not going to sit on this. I got to actually do something because it's all going to come down to me. 
right? I can't count on anybody else doing it. So when you have that attitude, that is the attitude of the winner. That is the attitude of the hero because they realize no one else has come to save anybody. So I got to step up and do something. And that's when amazing things happen. And it's a good place to be at. I really think it really creates a perfect polarity of life. You know, it's, it's the, the hundred percent responsibility creates the polarization of feel good, you know, the strength and the power to take responsibility, but at the same time, it takes, it takes the other polarity of the, of the hurt and learning of it, right? When something does happen, you can take responsibility. So it really becomes this beautiful polarizing concept of taking 100% responsibility in everything you do. So moving forward now, right? Well, you made a commitment. What is that one thing you made a commitment for over the next 30 days? Now take 100% responsibility for it. So if it is to do with eating, then that means prep your meals. No, there's, no, there's no stopping at fast foods. Listen, the fastest food, what's it take you? Five to 10 minutes to go through a drive-through? If you, if you cook a big batch of chicken, turkey, beef, or anything like that, and some vegetables, and you open up the fridge, you could go like this and like this. That's the fastest food you'll get. Bring your meals with you. Get a cooler bag. Start planning, taking responsibility. Don't let anybody or anything else or circumstances get in the way of your win. All right? When it comes to exercise, you know, make sure, plan in your schedule. Do it. I don't feel like it. I know you don't feel like it, but that's the discipline muscle, which we'll talk about at, on a later date. Take responsibility of it because no one's going to wake, watch this, no one's going to wake you out of your bed, <laughs> all right? So you got to get out of your bed and don't, don't plan on your, uh, Whitney, don't plan on your, uh, your phone waking you up because as long as your phone has a snooze button, that's the Satan button, it never works, all right? So no one's going to, no one's coming to wake you out of your bed, even though I wake my wife up every morning. <laughs> But uh, chances are no one's going to wake you out of bed. So you do it yourself. So when you take that personal responsibility, what's even greater, when you do hit the win and when you do accomplish the goal, you get to then have, remember, humility is taking responsibility, but then you get to feel the pride and the ego, which means pleasure, satisfaction in your achievement and the self-confidence and the importance of what you did. And that's a beautiful thing to have. So you get that at the finish line as well. So do that. Start building these principles in your life, in your day. Uh, any questions, comments, or concerns, please just private message me. And uh, then if there's any topics or things you want me to, to reach on. So thank you so much again. Once again, you know, if you're listening to this to, uh, on the podcast, please comment and join and give some good reviews. Uh, make sure you're uh, signed up to all our uh, social media, especially our Facebook and our YouTube. And make sure you go to IamHero.com so you can have this one month to win program for the rest of your life. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, just going on the journey with me now. I'm going to do it with you personally today to be able to kind of do it live with you to walk through it. Because I want you to see how each thing is methodically step by step to get you exactly where you want to be. And then we're, we're, we're journaling this, meaning that you'll be able to look back over the, over the next month and really see how much you have grown and how much you're winning in life. Have an amazing day. We'll see you tomorrow for 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. We'll feed your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.